Yo, Champion Free Division 2. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. No teams here. We're against. We're against. We're with FaZe and Pixel. We're against uh, Worst, Bizzo, and I cannot see the other person's name. Uh, Revolution. Okay. We're going to come here. We're going to grab this mid boost. And we're just going to do the same as always, guys. Same as always. Try and support our team from their crazy, shallow defending antics of centering the ball across the net because they're shallow. We're actually going to go for this. Try and get it without the momentum. Should have gone a bit earlier. I'm actually going to go for those aerials a little bit more freely now. Um, I did take a time there to explain what I was going to do. But I will go for those a bit more freely. Again, not with air roll or anything spectacular. Nice shot. So it all starts with this. Actually, it's a goal on the other end, as you guys know. So Pixel comes down. Watch their momentum. Right. Demos. I love demos. No one will love demos more than me. I remember doing it before it was cool. And everyone used to hate me. So look, their momentum's going here. So just go on to the bath lane. Just go on to the bath lane. Because now you probably don't want to go for a demo. Because there's like this guy's way too far away. And that's very important. Distance on 50s are important. It is highly unlikely usually that this guy will have a very good 50 when two people don't really know what they're doing what you got here from pixel's perspective he should quickly check like he's either got to do it in rotation or check phase is too far away and what that's going to allow them to do the the blue team is allow them to get momentum on the ball so if the momentum of the ball is traveling this way and the players are traveling this way and there's two of them it's very unlikely that this one player is going to actually win the 50. so that's something that you have to consider when you go for a demo is it really worth going for? And in this case, it's not. So if we play it a little bit further forward here, you'll see they actually kill their momentum. They've killed their momentum, not got the super side, to go for a demo. Now, as you can see here, as Mr. Faze comes in, these guys have got momentum on the ball. Momentum on the ball plus two hitboxes going at it usually beats one. Best case scenario is going to bounce in field. This play doesn't need to happen. All right. And there's a reason for this. Yep, there you go. So the person in control of the ball with momentum gets the win. Mr. Faze actually does miss the ball, or whatever his name is, misses the ball, which allows the next man from their team to pick it up. This player now is too deep. They are way too deep, and they've probably got no boost. Yeah, they've got no boost, which means their rotation is going to be slow, and they're going to rely on a boost grab here or many flips. This means the last man, which is us, is in a very pr big predicament. Now, it depends on your team. It depends on the, of the flow of the game, how well you've been doing, deciding what you're going for. For this, for me, this guy's too far out of the play, in my opinion, for me to warrant challenging this and risking the challenge. It's not good. Again, even if I go inside to outside, the way they're manipulating the ball, they're probably going to beat me. I'd have to do a really well-timed 50. It could be difficult to do. I go in for a shadow instead, waiting for this guy to come back. And this was a brilliant flick. He completely tricked me here. Like they just accelerated faster than I expected, and Pixel wouldn't have been back in time. That defending for oh my god, really bad defending from me. They should have challenged it. Didn't know Faze would have it. If I did, it's gonna pop that up. Hopefully, teammate can finish that. I'm gonna fake. Are you gonna fake again? Because the teammate's going for that for some reason. They're driving at us instead of rotating, and we're gonna pop it. Not what I wanted. But this is fine because it will allow us a demolition, demolition, and two boosts. Nice. So hopefully they grab the mid boost and just take the shot. We're going to do that just to, because really that should have been a smash through. We just took them down again. We're going to put a shot towards the backboard here. And we're going to put it towards the wrong side. And hopefully this guy will wake up in a second. We're going to come here. power slide it's gonna pop it over the top of him real simple and then a little flick there there we go nicely done oh so yeah a little power slide there so just uh no it was no power oh yeah power slide to get around him and then a little flick okay we're gonna talk a little bit about rotation in this one so pixel comes in at like we've already started the rotation out so it's difficult now what happens here is there's two of us rotating and i get the boost first if this ever happens that means you have to turn first right because essentially at this moment in time i've got 100 we just collected it this guy might even have zero so we're going to sneak around out of their way because we're going to be faster than them and let them go for the back boost this way we can at least keep a bit of pressure this pressure doesn't have to be pressure pressure remember pressure sometimes is a state of position and a state of mind it don't mean diving on the ball so when we turn here we are putting pressure. Here's pressure. This is pressure. Okay? 
If they try and take control of the ball, we are close to them. We can fake them out of it with a flick. They don't. They go for a boomer, which is fine because of the way we've pressured. We've done it supersonic. It's very important, and I call it front-end aggression. Okay? I want to sort of challenge and go into play. See how I'm supersonic, and I want to keep supersonic, and I want to go in at supersonic. Because then if I change my mind, I can exit at supersonic. And I can be in two places almost at once, it would seem. So because we've given ourselves this time and they've thrown away possession, they should not have thrown away possession. They should have held the ball here because they had a free pitch. It's going to allow me to power slide here. And I don't even have to go wide or anything like that or deep or whatever because the ball's come to me. Boom. Soft touch. Okay. As soon as you do a soft touch, follow it with boost. Again, what do we want? Supersonic. This guy's coming from the side, so it doesn't really matter. We're just going to pop it with supersonic. We're going to grab that boost. Now we're here around this side of the board. This player could have rotated back post. They should have rotated back post. And let's see what this revolution does. This is sad. And I'll tell you why this is sad. Everything's starting off so well. And then they go shallow. I'm like a broken record and you probably get annoyed with me. But I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. They have gone shallow. Which means happy days for me. Oh. I'm thinking to myself, are you actually going to put yourself in no man's land for me? Let's, let's uh, yeah. I go, oh, brilliant. Well, just score the goal for me then. Because you ain't got time to react. Because you've gone into no man's land. Imagine if they just went a bit deeper. Came here. Right? Imagine, just imagine this. They came here. They went deep. They followed the rotation through because they are the last man. How easy is that to save, guys? Do you think you could save that? Platinum's out there. Do you think you could save that? Gold's out there. Do you think you could save that? Yeah. Then your mechanics aren't the reason you're losing. It's your positioning because anyone can save this. <laughs> All right, that's the that's the real truth, and that's going to obviously be a goal. They just can't keep it out. All right, we got this. We got this. Bad start from me with the defending, but we got this. They definitely rotated when I saw them uh, coming back to net there. I'm gonna grab these. It was a good flick. Like the thing was that with that flick earlier is that I didn't expect it to be like that. It was quite a low flick, and those are the ones that are dangerous, like a low accelerator. That's why side flips are so good as a flick, is because they are a quick acceleration. We're just going to fake again. We're going to come up here. We're just going to look for a demo. That's all I'm doing there. If I want to start challenging, I know that I'm going to be risking stuff. Yeah, I'm actually... The reason I did that was just in case... Hold on. Put that to the corner. It was just in case our teammate didn't have it, I was just going to pop it up. Just because it's hard to trust players, and, and really I should start trusting them more. I mean, after all, we're, uh, we're almost grand champ now, so... They should be able to play the game. <laughs> a soft touch by doing a... Oh, my God. What a save. I thought I was in. So, do you see? Like, if I would have front flipped that, it would have hit the crossbar and flown away. But all three of us were, like, collapsed right there. So, I don't want to do that. So, I do a backflip instead just to make it a bit weaker on the impact. They're going for a pinch. We're going to try and get that 50 to net, which we've done so many times throughout this series. That's why I prefer to go for the demo because oftentimes you can peel it straight in if they mistakenly uh, won't make a mistake. We're going to take our time, take our time. Instantly towards the outside. That gives us team uh, an opportunity. Oh, so close to taking it off the center line. Which would have been really good. We're going to come here, look for a demo. We're going to grab that boot. Hopefully this teammate can just smack it straight across, which they can. We're going to go up for this. Look for a block. Just there. Brilliant pass. No air roll needed. So really good stuff to get that demo, which completely collapsed them. And now we can see that all their momentum's coming in, in awkward direction. So we don't need much. We just have to stop it. So good exit plan from us here. And I'm thinking about hitting this ball because I'm super sour. I was super sonic, but then I see phase on it and instantly realize, well, actually, there's no point in me going for this ball. So I want to get into either a receiving position, which would be more here, or because I've gone too deep and I've mistimed it, that's not a problem. We then, and remember earlier, I was talking about the right time to go for demos. This is the right time to go for demos because they're putting pressure on from their corner and I'm sort of doing it in the rotation. I've not lost any speed. Bam, we can take them out and it allows us to grab another boost pad. In the meantime, this play is forcing it through and this revolution. Trying too much. They could have waited in the net and just quite happily, if they were here, they could have just smashed that away. And this player, if they would have gone deep, they could come here and probably get a good 50 and smash that away. Anyway, what happens is it comes back to our teammate who dives in the corner, but they do it with a single jump, which gives them a bit more reaction time. The problem is they've actually turned. But what they want to do here is half flip off the wall. Either way, it's put the ball across the middle. What you'll see here is everyone's going up, but no one's using their time. And what I mean by that, it's probably not the right choice of words, but when this happens, they've gone straight up into the air, this guy here. 
they could definitely have come onto the backboard, which would have been quicker and allowed them this position. So right here, they could have waited for this touch and come down and across it and hit it. Because everyone's coming across, all you got to do is sort of block it and it'll just score itself. You're going to see our aerial is very botty and you know, that's all you need. A lot of people will spit and miss. No, I'd rather just be botty and make it happen, to be honest with you. Right, we're going to grab this. Now, do you come into the inside on this one or outside? It's pretty difficult. We're just going to get a dive bomb and then we're going to double jump straight away. And that's why I dive bomb. Remember, ground reaction force. Actually, that's uh, some I learned in biomechanics. Uh, but yeah, the, the longer on the ground, go on in. High flick, high flick, high flick, high flick. Eh, okay. Try and put it to the other side. High flick would have scored. That's why I wanted it, to be honest, because I know I could have scored that. But never mind. We're going to come to the back post. But yeah, if I dive bump, I can come to the ground. And if I come to the ground, I have time to do stuff. They they need to like stop being so wide here. Good flick again from this guy. I like that, how they're using side flips. They need to call me out again. We're going to double jump there and just come down straight for the boost. Look for demos on the way out. Get to supersonic as fast as we can because we're being a bit dangerous here. We, we can't go as wide as we normally do to grab that back boost because of the danger here. We're actually going to go for that. Kill that 50 up. Straight away, I'm going to flip it high. I don't care that I don't win that or don't trick them. I just want to get it high to waste time. If I put it high, they have to come off the ground to hit it. If they come off the ground to hit it, I have an opportunity. Oh, yeah, I did. I was wanting the demo as well to... Uh, to basically stop them being able to score. Like, well, at least I can get back in time. That should be a goal. Yes, it should. Nice stuff. Great pass. Nice shot. So we've done a good comeback here, guys. Uh, especially, you know, me playing so bad. Gosh. So as always, you want to look at a play a little bit before what happens, happens. And you also want to know that sort of zone here is not the best. Okay, first thing we see is worst is already starting to push out to that ball and then they get clapped and then revolution what do they do what does revolution do here if you know the answer you should know the answer well look at this rotation isn't this very shallow yeah it's the last man too hmm, yeah imagine just going here and just sitting tight for two seconds imagine that seems weird doesn't it seems like you shouldn't do it let's see if they should have done it we'll just keep a mark here let's just see if they would have been better off sitting here okay oh they would have they would have the board would have actually came straight to them now, what happens here? This guy also just dives across. Now, is this guy going to go shallow as well? They go into the net, and they've pushed forward, and they're peeling off, and I'll probably get rid of that thing <laughs> in the bottom corner for you. They've pushed forward, they're peeling off, and they're peeling off, and now there is space behind. This is why I often go for these flicks into demos, because people just give you them bang, bang. But I miss both, unfortunately, here. I try to get the second one, which forces him to jump. I remember one of the episodes, someone said to me, you're terrible at defense. You clear the ball across the ground. You should be going up to the wall, smacking up the walls. And I said, oh, but doesn't that allow you to be dunked? Think, there it is. That's exactly why I don't do it very often. And it puts it into the middle. And again, let's just look at this player. So Bazoo comes here. They flip foot. Why even flip? You've avoided the demo. Come and sit here. They're pushing forward. They're peeling off. Where is the reaction time? Look at their momentum. Now, imagine if they just sit here. Oh, I could challenge that. But no, I'm going to push out because everyone says you got to push out. Don't sit in there. So I don't sit in there because I've got to do what they say. Oh, yeah, I can't actually save this now. It's impossible because I, I didn't sit in there. So just sit in there. Imagine that. Imagine that philosophy. That's crazy. My reflexes will get even slower. <laughs> we may never be able to get the grad jab ever again. Every year the reflexes go. Well, you don't need necessarily huge reflexes unless you're playing at the highest level. Um, what you do need more is more prediction-based stuff, in all honesty. We're just going to do that to force them off the ball. I've missed every big uh, boost pad, which was not the intention, of course. And by waiting back, we're just going to put it high. They're obviously going to go for this, and I'm going to go for the demo. So that's, that's what I do in those positions because I'm thinking, like, my team should back me up. And by forcing them to make a hit, like, I keep my momentum through the demo attempt. That's bad for me because my teammate was right there. I should have rotated, so i got to get back as fast as I can. But uh, I can keep my momentum and rotate if I, like, mess up like that. Whereas opposed to if I jump in and miss, I'm all the way out of the play. So we're going to wait here. There's a demo attempt from there. I'm just going to smash this across there. And then straight away on the bounce, I'm just going to lift that over that man. And then straight away, I'm just going to go for a demo that didn't actually happen. And that's us getting the game there. There we go. GG, guys. GG well played. And into the next one we go. Yeah, so if we get a little bit closer, I will uh, I will try and push into Div 3. You know, maybe go for a little bit until we lose. Just to try and get something. Uh, it seems like this is, you know, this series is like 35 episodes. I remember the 1v1 series took like 6 episodes. So we're just going to come in there. Don't need to go for that because it's very low percentage that they're going to miss. We just get a demo just to annoy them. 
Nice touch from them. Double might be on there. And it is. Nice shot. Beautiful. And we got no points, baby. But the points don't mean anything. Demos do. Demos win prizes. So, yeah. Well, let's make sure we save this. Really nice double touch. We're going to have a lot to talk about there. I'm again for me to sound like a broken record. Okay, let's watch Nova, the last man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, why didn't we just rotate here? Can't react. I can't react here. I can't react because they said don't sit in there, so I push forward. Can't react now. Yeah, imagine that. So here, all you got to do, real simple, last man. It's not the best. Like, it's a good set of play. It's a really good thing, but just wait here. And now, as soon... This is the thing what people misconstrue when I'm saying wait in net. First of all, let me just say one thing to people who say I shouldn't wait in net. This guy's useless. So what's the point of this position, first of all? Don't even burn. Before you question waiting in the net, tell me what the point of this is. This is pointless, okay? Now, the real thing with waiting in the net, which people don't seem to understand, or they misconstrue, or they try and put it in their favour, because they think you're just going to sit in net the whole time. Every ball that bounces off the backboard must be contested. It must be contested. We are sitting here to allow ourselves time for our teammates to come and hopefully contest this. If they don't, we must contest. Right now, we know they're not going to get it. As soon as that is either bouncing, like you want to hit it either as it bounces or here, you must contest this. You don't sit and wait for that, especially if they've got a good position there. Sometimes I will, if I know where they're going to put the ball from experience playing, I can tell where their name plate, where they're going to usually put the ball, okay? But if you can't, you just challenge those. That's fine. But you give yourself outward momentum into that. This guy has literally nothing. They are useless. They have no worth in the net right now. Okay? Because they rotated like everyone keeps saying, don't wait in there. Just wait in there. Okay? For two seconds. And now you're fine. I'm going to go straight back like Rodman. And I waited a second there and I've gone shallow. And that'll all make sense. The reason I waited a second was because if I went back straight away, those boost pads wouldn't have actually spawned. So I would have got back into the uh, deep position, but I would have had no boost. Where I can actually take an extra second there to get those. And because they missed, I could actually turn out onto that play and uh, make the challenge. Again, it's all sort of situational. We're actually waiting. The reason we're waiting in the corner because of the angle they came up. The best hit they could have got was a hard hit to the corner and we would have scooped it up. But we'll let our teammate take it. And we're going to grab that mid boost because Chaos wants it. Nice demo. We're going to leave that last one for our teammate who's cut across the plate. Uh, which they shouldn't have. Now we're in a bad spot. We're in a real bad spot there. So teammates should not have cut across the play there. Should have let me go to challenge that they would wait back post. Once that happens again, though, you're sort of at their mercy. Nice challenge there from Pips. Okay. We'll just, we'll just play back then. A lot of cutting in here. I had the outward momentum. I would have liked to took it, but, you know, you can't argue. <laughs> Two points. You cannot argue with the results, you know, and we got a one-goal lead. And that could be a goal there if Pips can get to it. They just took the boost. Just can't get the shot on tight. We're just going to fake that, make him overplay. I'm actually going to hit that to the side because I know Pips is going to turn exactly that. And I've just missed again the boost. It's going to flip out the way here. Not playing very well at the moment. Struggling to get into this game. And we're just going to funnel this. Funnel this. Right there. There we go. And then we can hit it away. So we're, we're funneling that. We don't... Oh, this is really good, actually. Mid-boost is there. Oh, my God. This is really good. Put a bit of pressure on him. Terrible shot from me, but I don't know what that way. If I could have scored that, that might have been the forfeit because they sort of set it up. I'm just going to hit that. Oh, sorry. Uh, my ears played tricks. I mean, I actually thought they were a little bit further away than that. Oh, all right. That's no problem. No problem. I should have dropped the sorry really. I played bad. I should have scored that last goal. We're faking. We need to come straight back to the middle. And then we're just going to play it across to this side where no one is. Okay, they're just going to smack it away. Uh, now they're both in the same spot. We could have done a little bit more with that. I... I I would have said, but they almost score. In fact, they can score this. Yes, they can. Oh, no. Pips never went for it. There's a lot of confusion here. I'm actually going to go here. And again, I'm not going to jump into it because I want to keep my momentum. And I want to try and block them, bump them, and all sorts of badness. But also give myself a chance to recover. And this is good pressure from us. We're going to grab this just in case Chaos did want it. Off the back. This is going to fall down. We're going to just catch it and just try and pop it. Get out of the way. Oh, there we go. Um, nice shot. So I actually wanted to do a double jump pop here, which would have led to the goal. But I got a bit excited and just decided to go for a fling. Uh, and I'm trying to get out of there as fast as possible. All right, so basically, uh, what we're, we're going to be covering the same thing <laughs> over and over in this position. So you hit the ball away from us. This guy thinks about going, doesn't want to go. And I, yeah, there's no point going for this ball because they're, they, there's ne they're never going to win this. Um, so I, I do understand their sort of patience here. But the problem is now the... The issue they've got is the way they turn. They are under a lot of pressure because they are the last man. 
And obviously, you know what I'm going to say anyway. So if you watch Kings here, well, first of all, this guy cuts rotation. Like, they cut the rotation. You're probably thinking, no, they rotated. Yeah, but to me, that's cutting rotation. Where's that ball going? Where's this ball going? Where's the danger? Why am I diving and smacking this away from myself? Okay, I'll just come here. I'll let the ball roll across myself. And the reason I do is I can see everything. Oh, I'll switch it this way. Boom, hook shot. Okay? But no, I'm going to smack the ball away. And now I've given the ball back. This player, pointless touch. Just rotate. You don't want... Like, I don't understand why people still do this. This is... Keep in mind, this is champ free. Champ free and people are doing this. Your momentum is going towards your own net. What, what, are you, what are you trying to achieve here? I don't understand what they're trying to achieve. So basically, they, call, they cause a 50 that puts it in front of their net. This player starts pushing out because they want to. Really, they probably should have waited. But now they've realized, ah, I'm too... So when you get to this position, what you need to do is you need to give yourself more of an angle. You can't just sit like this. Like, unless you're really good, it, they're in a very difficult position here. They can make it work, but the problem is, they see how they're like booking forward? If they just gave themselves a little bit more angle, what they can do now is they can come across and make it say it's very tricky and it's forced them to flip outwards, which is, is, is awkward because they're not in net. And then that's basically just going to be an open net. No one rotates here and a great finish from Pip. And all I was trying to do there, if you know it's a goal, you can sit in there and wait. If you don't, if it's solo, you just try and get out without hitting the ball. And luckily we did that. All right, we're going to come here, grab this boost. Pips again in a good, strong position. We're just going to fade away here. Oh, they've, they've completely botched their jumps up. We're going to grab that back boost. I've actually got the back boost. The, all the boost is gone, so we're fine. Like, this is great. We're luring them into our traps. And you see how as soon as we lure them... Yeah, exactly. If that was, a gun, like, if that was on target, that was a goal. Just put a little single jump shot there. But yeah, we're luring them into our positions by like taking all this boost. and not, like, We don't have to go early. See? Lure them in. Lure them in. Lure them in. And there we go. Now we got the counter. Should have took our time with that one, in my opinion, because we've done such a good job boost. Oh, he's going to play that to the side there. We're going to try and get onto this back. Pips will take that. Hopefully, they just pop it, and then we can just grab this and get out of there. And then with this, we're just going to play it to the opposite corner because no one was there. Uh, although it did lead to a bit of confusion. That's great stuff from our teammates positioning wise. It's exactly where I wanted them. We're going to go on this next touch. And we're going to try and force it through them. We get bumped here, which means this guy's going to come for this. So the sort of the way. Bam! Shakalaka boomba. Oh, and we get this boost as well, do we? Oh, privileged. Let's go. My stuff from now. Let's go for some more demos. Oh, are they going to redirect that? Okay, we're so close. And then, boom. It's a little flick. Just to put him under pressure again. I'm not, I don't even need to look for the finish. Bonk. 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 <laughs> Just bumping everyone. But again, everyone will say, oh, you could have finished it. Yeah, could have finished it. Do I care? No. We, like, you, we, oh, too much. Oh, play that a little bit off to the side there. Should give us a little bit of time to get back. Not the best here. I needed a bit more corner on that, but I was not expecting that. You know, we've seen that a lot this series that people just smacking the ball back towards us. I'm going to grab this. And we're just going to turn away. I can't go for that, really. I, you know, there's no point. Uh, this power shot's going to come here. Oh, nice intercept. That was actually a really good interception. Because they were close. Like, that was their ball. And I didn't want to go for that. And, uh, yeah, cause confusion here. We're just going to dribble it up the wall. 10 seconds. Come down. Off the backboard again. You don't have to look for the finish straight away. We're just going to grab this boost. GG. Well played. Okay, we've got two wins in a row there, guys. We're going to keep this going then. All right, here we go. Carnage replays. Marsh, Mike, Phaja, and Primu. We'll tell them to take the shot, but they've already said they've got it, so that's perfect for us. And that's actually not going to be a goal. They're coming... Oh, why did they come in for that? They just squashed it. Sorry. That's actually fine, because I can dunk that off the bump. We're just going to hit that to the side off the center line here. All right, it's a lot of confusion early on. Like, if they would have just let me take that, possibly a goal. They're going for another one. They come off the ceiling. And that might be it. Right, again, we're going to look for a bump. That's me too far. Yeah, that's my fault. Eh. Let's have a look. A bit hard to read. Like, I did expect a better shot than that. And I was, but there, yeah. All right, this was a bad read for me. And I remember this one. So, um, this player goes for it. And it's a bit questionable. But this is what threw me here. Is I think right now they've got the flip reset.
And I'm waiting for them to flip because if they get the flip reset and flip instantly, they're going to push it over to this way. So that has thrown me. And then this player hits the ball. And then, yeah, that was bad for me. I did not expect this shot. I honestly thought they were going to shoot it more to this side. So I've already started switching my momentum like that. And it's just completely thrown me. And I've already turned in because I was expecting to get a finish on that. So, yeah, that was definitely my fault. As the last one there, pushing up way too much. Completely misread the play there. Okay. <laughs> I've said that's my money. They're not wrong, but you don't expect, like, people not to score that. That's my bad. But they are correct. Although, last man buddy, why did you smash it into me at the very start of the game? Last man buddy. Don't last man buddy me, buddy. Here we go. It's going to come around here. And again, like, they just turned there. So now I am the last man, but I'm in a bad spot again. Because they just turn it onto the play. This is why you have to do really a lot of patience here. Whoa, so much chasing. I'm actually just going to tap that towards the net. It's, again, it's not going to be a very good shot. I'm getting uh, a lot of cuts in with these teammates. Just going to start this line here. Going to grab every pad. Every single pad. Pad domination. We don't need to go for this. There we go. We're going to come here. Oh, well played. Really well played to come up and then down. Didn't get tricked by that. But not bad aerial mechanics to come back down. See how they're just going straight to the side. They never actually loop out with outward momentum. Um, and that's why they, they miss a lot. We're going to come here. Just going to push it towards the outside. And again, they've just sort of turned again. Again, it, just le it leads to these pointless touches. We're going to be here. We don't need to go for that. We'll just do that. If, if we get a better 50 there. Oh, no one's gone for that. That surprised me. We get a better 50. We could have done something without looking for a demo. And I need to get out. We're going to wait on this pad. Just for a second because it's about to spawn, which it does. And I'm going to stay here. They don't need to go for that. Yep. Because that 50, exactly the reason why. Now it's caused again a clap. So we're getting to these turns. And again, these pointless turns are just putting it on there. And then they say sorry, but they carry on chasing. It's making it very hard for us to go in uh, with these turns. Very difficult to read this. All right. A lot of force in the ball here. A lot of force in the ball. You see how many misses you get when you force the ball? All right, we're going to go to this. I'm looking around. This is my ball. And I want a bit of time with it. Boom. There's two out. And all oh, looking for the demo. Get onto this path lane. They're really wide there as the last man. We've got to come to the back. And again, a pointless touch. Have they got that? All right. We have to go pop that around them. We've got so much going on in these games. A really good bump there. I was hoping I was going to fake them. Uh, again, just pushing up so much here. They are pushing up way too much and turning sideways. So you see, as soon as you leave the net, you're in trouble. We're going to pop it up here. Again, we don't have to look for the finish. So we're just going to pop it high and look for the boost grab. That's what our first thing. We've got literally no one in the central position here. This is crazy. Hopefully they can finish that. They pop it up. We're just looking for boost grabs. Hopefully, teammate gets the boost, which they do. We can put a shot on or attempt to. More towards the backboard is what I wanted there. We're starving them down-ish. You know, the, the constant turns means that our team actually has lower boost overall than their team most of the time. Okay. A lot of 50. This is a very big 50-50 game right here. There we go. Fake. All right. Why, why are we all pushing up? Okay, we're just going to 50 that. Just going way too early. Like, this is a mess. And this is, like, just imagine this. This is almost Grand Champ. We're just going to tap it towards the back post there. There we go. Good save again. Hopefully they stick close. There you go. Finish that. There we go. Nice play. Okay, so a lot of confusion here. This is just a lot of... So, first of all, I just want to say well done to this player for uh, waiting deep in there just in case something goes wrong. Oh. And it allows them to react. And then they go, okay, I'm going to go for it. The fake is there. The fake is there because people try to do too much. This player is also close. Okay, now, from here, this player's come across, drop the ball, you're going to win the 50 like that. That player now, Primu, has pushed up, and I don't mind that because they're going to put themselves into a shadow position. But for some reason, we've seen it again. We just saw it earlier on. Why are you hitting this ball? Like, what is the point of that? There's no point hitting this ball. You're hitting it towards your own net, putting your own team under pressure. Just rotate. I, I, I can't get me in. Champ free. Champ free. Wow. So they put pressure onto their own net. Backboard man. Unfortunately, doesn't hit it. Okay. 
and that's just going to come with practice it is difficult you know it takes a bit of practice oh my god so this guy is the last man look how wide like look how shallow they are so now what happens is when they they try to react they realize they can't but this player does a good job they go deep and they actually get the clear but they've got no one behind them but they don't get the clear like they needed to flip into this side flip into this so we've put a lot of pressure on this player now by default ends up going wide they dive on you know you can't disagree with that and this player also goes and it's just collapsing them it's just collapsing them that player again causing a lot of issues by sort of see how they sort of turn there they needed to instantly side flip it was hard to react in time and that is going to be a goal very very difficult they did a lot of 50s wrong there and that led to a collapse all right so pretty difficult game here with the cuts but we did manage to equalize it very hard to pair threes we're going to wait at the back post here see what they do nice almost just pass it in because they're turning they're just turning on it like it's the turning and they don't think they don't like figure it out but saying oh well every time i've turned i've done a bad hit on the ball we're just going to take our time we're in our corner we're completely safe and there's one out the game and we double jump behind the ball and there we go it centers it up now we can get out of the way it's last man she can come in and we should have still time to get back but she's gonna whoa baby i'm gonna smash that into our own corner that's a great center but again just see how this guy's always in front of the ball we're gonna come here i'm actually gonna shoot this towards the net because they're moving a lot uh it's kind of like ants you know what i mean they're just moving for no purpose so you might catch them off guard if you took a shot towards the uh, the net here going to come into the back post going to actually go a bit deeper here for an angle but oh, they both dove oh dear oh my god they really do not want to leave this ball holy smokes all right we're going to wave dash over to this boost we're going to grab the boost i'm going to fake in the corner i'm actually going to come over just jab it over the top and go for a demo i didn't want to 50 that because it would pinch but yeah we're, we're actually see how few shots we've had as a team here we're gonna have to go for this again i try and stay grounded and we're just going to block that shot because they're, they're, they will, they're useless in that position. They are both actually useless. That ricochet is off the wall. It's a goal. So we have to make sure we get it. All right, this is a very, very tough game. Well, at least we force them back. We're just going to have to defend. I'm going to let them know I'm defending as they double commit into the opponent's corner. These are the same kind of people that would be like, you got to push up more. you got to push up more. As you just double committed in one of the lowest percentage positions in the game. In fact, it is the lowest percentage position in the game. The opponent's safest position, the corner. All right, I'm gonna looking for a demo here. That'll do. Hopefully, teammate goes. Like once they see that bump, they should really go. We're actually gonna keep it on the outside. I don't want to. Normally, I play it over the top of the net here, but I don't trust these guys not to go for it and basically end up pinching it downwards or off the ceiling. It would basically put it into the net sort of position. Hopefully, they can touch that in. There we go. G uh, great pass, nice shot. Yeah, very difficult game there. Really, really difficult game. But good center because they stayed grounded. And uh, nice double touch. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of that was luck. <laughs> it's always nice to get uh, an overtime win. So right here, we're just trying to keep it onto the outside because we see we got space. And once we've been hit off the ball, many people stop and they wait. Take that momentum, run with it. This guy might clear it. You might be able to pop up into the middle. Like, if he clears that central, because look how wide they are. You might be able to come in, do an air, air roll, and just, like, tap that towards net. Um, so that's an option. But take your momentum. You can look for demos as well. We missed that demo, but it forces them back. We're sort of, like, herding them. And then once we realize we've lost that, we're just going to head back. Good 50 here from Marsh. Let's have a look again. Uh, where's Mike? So what... <sighs> okay, we, we spoke about this last episode. What is the point of this? What is the point of this? You are boosting against yourself, wasting your boost. So they got no boost there. That player goes in. They did cut the rotation. They get a lot of outward men. It now comes in. This guy is a little bit too wide for my liking, but they do get the stop, which is smart. Now, what's the rotation pattern here? Out of curiosity. Ah, cool. They're going into there. So good little center from... Uh, ah, okay. My by Marsh. That was actually really good. So Fajar tries to block it but they flip it so a single jump there is going to win that's so why i always say single jump in the corners is going to roll around this is very difficult this player a little bit too shallow you know imagine if they just went here and now on that hit they can just literally just flip it out all right they're going to give themselves an opportunity they go for it like really i don't know what their boost situation was like or their angle let's actually have a look they had a good amount of boost, but again, like, this is what I'm saying. When people go in so far forward into plays because everyone's rotating shallow, 
they are not able to hit the balls it is useless position challenging balls that you can't hit is a waste of time you must realize now that waiting here is definitely the better option definitely the better option you could even wait here i'm not saying like wait there forever you could even wait here and now go and now go because you can see their nameplate so it's more obvious where the shot's going to go and now they can only beat you in one way they can either beat you high or low this player can beat this guy a multitude of ways they can hit it a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there. and they've also got high and low they've got multitude of ways because they're trying to hit it on one frame they're never going to make that so just rotate deep just rotate deep that's all you got to do it's real simple but uh, yeah difficult i shouldn't have gone in as the last man in that play fair enough um but i really did not expect what happened to happen hey let's go we did three we only did actually need three wins oh let's go come on then all right there we go fantastic well thank you everyone for watching we are getting closer baby and closer every day um so i do appreciate it and uh, yeah look after yourselves have a good life and peace out peace peace peace